Thailand is at the heart of Asia. Strategically located, the country is the connection hub of all of Asia. Linking the continent key economies, from India to Japan, from China to Indonesia, and from the Indian Ocean to the Pacific. Moreover, as the birthplace of ASEAN, one of the fastest growing regions in the world. Thailand, bridges the emerging markets of Southeast Asia. From Myanmar to Vietnam, all these, makes Thailand as the center of economy and tourism in the region. To advance further, Thailand develops several infrastructure projects to sustain its growth. To provide seamless connection across the region, and riding the Belt and Road Initiative of China. Thailand built its most ambitious, high-speed railway project. The Northeastern High Speed Rail, Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima to Nong Kai Line. The project is also referred to as the China Thailand Railway Project, in reference to being built in partnership with Chinese companies. Phase 1 of the project, spanning 252 km leg from Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima, is scheduled to open by 2025. It will consist of five stations. Phase 2 of the project, spanning 354 km leg from Nakhon Ratchasima to Nong Kai. The development of a high-speed railway from Bangkok to Nong Kai, which will then connect to the Laos-China rail line. As part of China's network of high-speed rail links across Southeast Asia that will eventually connect Kunming in southwestern China with Singapore. Construction of Thailand's northeastern high-speed railway system, started in December 2017 while the entire line is expected to be up and running by 2030. The 1,435mm dual standard gauge tracks, would be laid throughout the project. With an operating speed of 250 km per hour, the project will be financed by Thailand, but China will provide the project design including the train and carriages. The Thai government has estimated the project will double the country's passenger rail capacity, with more than 22 million commercial passengers expected annually. The high-speed rail system, Bangkok Nakhon Ratchasima Nong Thai Line, is a major transport that the Thai government is pushing through. With the aim of helping to boost development in northeastern Thailand, the project will create job opportunities in the area and increase economic activities to improve the quality of life. The new train system will also enhance Thailand's stature as the transport and trading hub of the ASEAN economic community, and build national economic stability and sustainability. The project will also improve and enhance Thailand's transport network by raising Thailand level, at par with the other developed nations. The high-speed rail link from Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima, will run through economically important provinces in the central and northeastern region. The rail system has four types of substructure design, these are ground level track, elevated track, tunnels, and land bridges. The new rail system is keen to link the high-speed rail system, with the double-track system to transport passengers to and from all important parallel economic cities of the northeastern region. The northeastern region starting from Bang Su Station in Bangkok. The line will share the track with the northern line to Chiang Mai, passing Don Muang and Ayutthaya, until it reaches Bon Pachi Junctions, from where it heads to Surat Guru Station which is located at the Klump Rio Reservoir. The track is elevated across downtown Surat Buri, and then runs to King Khoi and Map Kabao Station. Before entering tunnel cut through a limestone mountain and onto Waklik. From Waklik the track will be elevated across a hill until Pak Chong Station which is located on Ratchapasado land in Nong Sarai's sub-district. From Nong Sarai, the track will run along the bank of the Lampakong Reservoir using elevated track alternating with tunnels, where the line passes through mountains. Following this, the line will then run on ground-level track using elevated section, where it passes through urban areas such as CQ and Song Noon districts. When it approaches Pokalaut, the track will be elevated along a length of 5 km before it reaches the current Nakhon Ratchasima station. The railway, will have a total length of 252 kilometers. 
In the future, the line will be extended to Nong Kai province using mainly ground level. Tracks will be elevated only when the line passes through downtown communities. Kone Kan, Odontani and Nong Kai stations will be on these lines. The design of the stations, combined with modern elements, with local arts and cultural identity, resulting to a unique architectural design that also meets the passengers' needs for convenient, from the elderly, to people with disability, and children, will all be catered to, and all be have access to full amenities, provided with in-line universal design. With regards to safety and traffic problems at level crossing, barriers will be installed at both sides of the track. It will have several types of crossing for uninterrupted ground level traffics, these are underpass across the railway, U-turn bridges over the railway, and underpass beneath the railway, U-turn underpass beneath the railway, a box culvert underpass which not only helped local farmers, but also helped draining during flood seasons. And elevated trucks across the road. The high-speed rail system, will open economic opportunities for the region. While offering commuters for world-class experience, to the rail links international transport standards. We're traveling for sightseeing, or a business trip or visiting family. They will able to enjoy a round trip all within the same day. When the high-speed rail system opens for business, it is expected to serve almost 14,700 passengers a day. On an annual basis, its contribution to shorten travel time will be worth nearly 2.300 million baht. To road traffic accident reduction, almost 620 million baht. To reduce fuel cost, 8.600 million baht. And to reduce environmental damage, approximately 3.400 million baht. Based on economic feasibility analysis. The new rail network, expected to produce economic internal rate of return of 14.04%. Provide a cost-benefit ratio of 1.58, and a net present value of 76 billion baht. Thailand railway networks are kept on advancing, to meet its current passengers' needs from its residents to businessmen and tourists. To usher in, new transport route which will bring equitable and sustainable developments. This is one of the eight mega projects of the proposed high-speed railway routes of Thailand with an estimated total cost of 30 billion US dollar. 